Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be going through how to install Visual Studio 2022 and get your first uh, C Sharp project up and running. Um, so just to kick off on the tutorial, uh, you're going to want to come to this webpage here, um, which is visualstudio.microsoft.com forward slash downloads, and you're going to see Visual Studio 2022 at the top of the page, and just get the free download, the community version, and as soon as you click that button, um, you should see the setup.exe is downloaded here so we're going to go ahead and open that and just continue let this do its install and this is just essentially getting the installer ready so as soon as that's ready we're going to be presented with this window here where we can choose kind of what uh, we want within our development environment so uh, for me I'm going to take ASP.NET web development uh, .NET desktop development, .NET multi-platform app UI development, um, and I just have a scroll down through here. I'm not going to do anything with Unity just yet, but you can install this now for Unity, so it's ready to go. And you can just keep scrolling down through, see if anything else is relevant, and for me, not right now. You also then have the individual components. <clears throat> so we can install different versions of .NET and we can see here by default, it's wanting us to include a 7.0 runtime, um, which is fine, but I'm just going to add a .NET 5 as well here, just so I can use that in other projects that are older, um, but definitely .NET 6 and 7 runtime. Uh, just to have some options, then you can scroll down through and I think that's everything for here. So right here the total space required is 18.13 gigabytes. So I'm going to go ahead and install this now and we'll come back once it's done. So Visual Studio 2022 has finished installing for me now. And I was prompted with this sign in um, so we can get started. Uh, for me, I'm just gonna sign in because then I just know that I'm completely set up. So I'm just going to do that now. So after signing in, we can see that we're greeted. Hello, Scott. Um, we're just getting everything ready. And now Visual Studio 2022 will open. Uh, we can close down this installer window, uh, but this will be s this stays on your PC. Um, so if you ever need to come back and modify to add in more things, you can do that by clicking modify and select to add in different things like a desktop C++ development or uh, universal Windows platform development. Uh, you can come back in, modify it, and download an update. But we're not going to be looking at that today. So we have our. Visual Studio 2022 here, we're going to create a new project. And we'll get in eventually. I'm just going to do console application and just type uh, my first console app. And uh, for me, I'm just going to change the location to uh, my D drive and I'm just going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it VS projects and next I'm going to use framework uh, .NET 6 for the long-term support but if you drop down here we can see we have standard here as well uh, or sorry, uh, seven, which is a standard term supported. So it'll be supported for for less time than than dot at sixes. And then uh, that has its own features and new updates as well. But I'm just going to go with dot at six for for today. So with Visual Studio open now, we can rearrange any of these windows how we want. So I like my Solution Explorer and stuff over here. And we have our console app, and we can add in whatever, but we'll just do console.readline and we'll just run this. 
and here we have our console application running so your development environment is set up and ready to go so i hope this video helped uh, if it did please make sure to rate comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thank you